out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never know Never know, na na. She will never know, na na. Never know, na na. She'll never know. It's like she stole my heart without knowing she did. But I guess that it will pass. Yeah, I can't be the only one who got lost inside. Of those eyes, I've gotta let her go. I know it won't be easy. I wanna hold her close, but I have to try, try as hard as I can. Cause she'll never be mine. I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings. What's wrong? Did you just want to be held? <laughs> so angry for. Good morning. Good morning, Bobs. Baby kisses are the best. Were you mad? Because you were by yourself? It's okay. My goodness, you scratch yourself. You look like your daddy. Yes, you do. You guys, he has the prettiest eyes. And every time I try to capture it, they just, like, come out so dark. But they're, like, very icy. Like, almost like a bluish green. Yeah. Do you see yourself? <laughs> There's no way. The handsome eyes you have. Should we take your first official bath today? Yeah, I think we're going to take your first official bath today. Oh, goodness, that was kind of dramatic. <laughs> well, Mr. Man, I'm not sure how this happened. How did you manage to get your little foot all the way in here? Huh? How'd you manage to do that? Huh? How'd you manage that? Look at that mad double chin. So that's because I always eating, constantly eating. Right now it is like 8:10 ish. Let's check out my phone. Oh, 8:13. The clock's off. So it's 8:13, and um, 
let's see, I fed him last at, I showed you guys on my app, but I fed him last today at 7.08, and he fed for 27 minutes on my right side. <laughs> so, yeah, wasn't very long ago. I just got done eating, and he's already itching for another boob session. <laughs> This is a true day in the life with a newborn. So I think at this point, like usually he's still kind of sleeping at this point and I will like take the diaper cart down, which by the way, you guys, the diaper cart has been like an absolute lifesaver. I'll get more into that into like my newborn must haves video. Um, yeah, I know pumpkin. I know you're getting hungry again. Um, but I usually will take the diaper cart down, brush my teeth, brush my hair, wash my face at least. <laughs> and then if I'm going to shower, I usually will shower at night once Mike's here and he's able to kind of keep an eye on both the kiddos for me. Um, but yeah, and then I just move it down here and then I'm able to work on my computer, which is up here right now. But I work on my computer because I work from home during maternity leave and um, I'll work on my YouTube stuff as well. Um, which is usually more so in the evenings because my um, day job takes most of my time during the day. And this little dude, yeah. So, um... So yeah, that's what I do, and I usually will play like Gilmore Girls or something else in the background just to have on so that I don't feel so lonely. Okay, little bird. <laughs> Let's feed you, you hungry little worm. say we tried our best Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises Who am I to say there's nothing left Who am I to look down Who am I to say you won the war When all I did was fight so hard I forgot what I Fighting for who am I to say those breaking down? Who am I to turn around? Maybe someday I'll wait for it. Someday I'll look past all the reasons and wrong turns I took. Someday I'll fight for it better than I thought. Okay, so for those of you wondering on my postpartum, I am just a little over a week postpartum. Um, these are obviously like control top leggings. I think these are from Fabletics. Um, but yeah, that's what my tummy's looking like. I still don't have a butt anymore. <laughs> but yeah, just like this little pooch. But this is like, this is nine days postpartum. So I'm not too shabby compared to my first time. I have like eight more pounds and then I'm officially done to my pre-pregnancy weight. That doesn't mean much because your body is still gonna look very different. So so just a reminder to be easy on yourself in like the first few weeks of having baby. Your body's just like really not gonna look the same. I have like, I wonder if you guys can see, just like baby pooch skin. Just, it'll always be there. But um, yeah, I can't believe I'm like showing that on the internet. Look at my little like skin pooch here, but I'm not gonna complain. All right, I need to straighten this room up and go downstairs and start working. So, I'm gonna put my glasses on. Welcome to my life. Who am I to look down? Maybe someday I'll wait for it. Someday I'll look past all the reasons and wrong turns I took Someday I'll fight for it better than I fought for you Better than I fought for you
in the mirror Who's looking back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on I just got off the phone with my work. It's 9.30 and I told them that I would have a bunch of stuff entered before noon. So let's hope little Nugget continues to sleep for like another hour. <laughs> okay, so I got most of that stuff done. Um, it is now 9.49, finished my iced coffee and little man is just starting to fuss and um, you guys, I officially hit a thousand subscribers. Like that blows my mind. Thank you so much, you guys. I, oh, this is something that I really love to do. I think it's super fun to have the memories and I'm just, I'm blown away that that many of you like to listen to me chat and talk about mom things and baby things and I'm excited. Let's go feed the baby boy. Thank you, you guys. Okay, just started feeding him on the right side and it is 9.52. So, um, and then I've got my Hakka um, like silicone little breast pump thing on the opposite side of where I'm feeding him. Um, I will go over, again, I know I said I was gonna do a newborn must-haves video, um, but already from this video, you're probably going to see what some of my favorite products are. Um, and first off, it's like my diaper cart, and most definitely my Hakka. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna feed little man again here, and get rolling with our day. We're gonna get him dressed, and he gets his first official bath tonight as well. Yeah, your first official bath. Can you guys hear him? He's such a loud eater. Here, see if you can be quiet. Okay, so I'm going to feed him and, like I said, get him dressed and get rolling for the day. So um, my dad should be here eventually today, I think probably tonight. Um, and my dad has yet to meet him. My mom came this weekend, um, but my dad was on an ice fishing trip. Hashtag Minnesota life. Um, my dad was um, up in Northern Minnesota ice fishing. So now he's gonna be staying with us for a few days um, since he has business in the area anyway, and he's gonna be spending some time with little man. So, very excited. Okay, so we just got done feeding. It was about a 25 minute session. So now it is 10.16, and my haka for my letdown on the other side, I got just about an ounce from that side. Um, I feel like this is working really well, you guys. This is awesome. You think your little chubby me on should get you dressed? Yeah. Get you dressed? Yeah, you and your E.T. fingers. Yeah. I'm gonna eat you up. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness, bless you. Wow. You're scratching yourself up. Hmm? Let's get some clothes on you. Little bird. Hello, little birdie. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm? Yes, sweet boy. Yes, you are. I figured I would show you guys really quick, like my little like postpartum, like next to the toilet little area. 
Um, I always keep Dermaplast, the Peri Bottle, my Earth Mama Perennial Spray, Perennial Balm, and then the Hemorrhoidal Pads, which these are just like Tux Pads, the up and up version. And um, although like I didn't have any issues with down there really, um, these are just like really nice and um, like soothing. And then these are the pads I've been using. These are the always just like panty liners um, because I haven't been having any like heavy bleeding or anything like that. So this is my little setup for next to the bathroom or next to the toilet. And yeah, it's been working out pretty well. I can try if you let me with our lives. I am bleeding. Who am I without stories that aren't mine? What I did to achieve you gave me air, thought I had to. I'm untrue, it's not pretty, the truth hurts. And you stayed on the ground while I was high. Yes, you. Okay, you hang out here, and mom's gonna get some work done right there. Right? Okay, does that sound good? Sweet boy. And then we'll snuggle all day. Yeah. Okay, so the diaper cart. Like I was saying, it is a life saver, life changer. Um, it's kind of messy right now, but this is like where I keep all my things. Um, he needs more wipes and diapers in here, but this is like where I keep everything. And since I'm always sitting like right here, it's always within arm's reach. Underneath I've got more like, these are like my, some of my medications and then a whole bunch of like medications for him. He's been like kind of nasally since we brought him home. So yeah, those saline drops might come in handy, but I've been using Nose Frida. This is like where all the miscellaneous stuff is. Nose Frida, hand sanitizer, chapstick, my like nasal spray, and a little like bulbous syringe to clear out his nose. And yeah, and then breast pads, all the fun things. But this has been absolutely incredible. Okay, so now it is 10.54, and I am just about to um, finish up the checks, the work that I need to do for my office job, and he is fast asleep in the swing right now, and after I'm done, um, after I'm done doing my office stuff, I'm going to snuggle him. I've been, we also have like a little side hustle that we do, um, my husband and I make farmhouse style furniture um, on the side as we have time. And we are just catching up from Christmas orders because we typically, um, it takes about like eight to 12 weeks to make custom um, furniture pieces. I think I've like briefly shown some pieces in some of my other, other vlogs. Um, I've been messaging customers this morning too, letting them know like updated pick updates for their furniture pieces. Um, since we had a little bit of a delay with um, my overdue pregnancy and um, my and my recovery from having Mr. Man. So it's been a very busy morning. After this, like I said, I'm gonna snuggle him on the couch, probably watch some, some shows for the afternoon. Um, Usually mornings are my most productive time. Today is the first day that I've really felt good enough to get all of this stuff done. Um, so yeah, but I know I'm gonna be paying for it later. So I'm gonna sit my butt down and just relax for the afternoon with Mr. Baby. Oh no, he's already waking up. All right, well, I'm gonna go tend to him. 15 minutes to cut these checks. Okay, okay. Okay. Time to mom boss it and get this done and snuggle the baby. I did a lot of 
Okay, so the last time I breastfed him was this morning at 9.52. So we are just hitting um, that two hour mark. So I will be waking him up to feed him. Um, I keep him up, like I will wake him up every two hours if he happens to be um, sleeping. Um, I let him have like a couple of like longer naps. Um, one in the morning and then one in the afternoon that are longer. But um, I try to keep him on the same schedule um, during the day so that at night he sleeps well. So um, that's just my little tip. And if he's hungry in between that, I will obviously feed him. I just kind of let him dictate his feeding schedule in between. But yes, I do try to stay on top of um, the big feedings every two hours. So I'm gonna heat myself up some lunch really quick and then I'm gonna and then I'm going to wake up the baby. All right, I'm like out of groceries, so we are doing a can of soup for lunch. Mmm, super healthy. I was just about to put on Gilmore Girls. <laughs> and then I realized that Mike hooked up the freaking bows. Dang it, Mike. I'm also eating another parfait because, because I have problems. All right, sweet look, I just got done eating. He is very tired, so I'm going to let him nap. Um, I got about three quarters of an ounce here of um, letdown on my right side. I'm going to snuggle this sweet little guy, watch my show, and eat my food, minus the breast milk. <laughs> I already downed my parfait. And also do a little bit of grocery shopping on my phone and arrange for an order pickup for tomorrow um, after my husband's off work. So it's 12, 15-ish. And yeah. And uh, the kitchen. I just ate myself here. into a food and coma. We just had hot Cheetos and popcorn along with my lunch. Breastfeeding like turns me into an angry feeding monster. And I just like can't control my eating. Hungrier like while I'm breastfeeding than um, when I'm pregnant. So it is 12.40 and and I'm going to start editing this um, the Stay in the Life vlog and um, my goal is by like 2.30 to start cleaning the dishes before my dad gets here and also because I'm out of cups for parfaits, so yeah. I'm sitting down for like meal number three of the day. Um, when I'm breastfeeding, I have to have like so many more calories. And even with like the amount of food I'm eating, like cause I'm constantly hungry, I'm just, I'm still like losing weight like crazy. It's insane. Um, okay, so a little man is sleeping and um, he's due for nursing here pretty soon. So one weird thing that I have noticed today is like where my epidural was, um, like where I got like that zinger that I told you guys about in my um, in my birth story. It's not my birth vlog, really. Like I think I briefly mentioned it in my birth vlog, but it's in my birth story. I just, I got this like wicked like zinger when they brushed my nerves on my back, on my left hand side, and that's where I'm having like a lot of pain today. 
um, just like I shouldn't say a lot of pain I should just say uncomfortable because it just it feels like I have like unstretched muscles it's kind of what it feels like um, but they're really tight so I've kind of been like stretching out my back a little bit more um, while I've been like cleaning and stuff but I don't know it's just really bugging me baby's hungry it is 307 and we go have some more nummies. Let's change your butt first though, huh? Should I have change your butt? Oh goodness, so hungry. They were in high school when they met and things got kinda awkward. With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make but no, well, I already did, and it is six o'clock. Dinner is no, no, cooking. No, no, I just changed him, honey. No, just poop. Yeah, I just changed his poop. No, it's a morning. I promise. I promise. I got it all when I cleaned his butt. Yeah. Hi. Daddy, 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 Daddy. Hello. What's you? What's you? Yeah. He's okay, honey. He's okay. And I tried to make it beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Alright Dinner is served and while we eat Yeah, look at those mushrooms Yum! While we eat We've got little man chilling out on the couch Yeah On his little lounger We've got Kaya throwing a tantrum upstairs Kaya, to meet your burger Ready and waiting for you. Eating your burger. <laughs> eat it. Let's eat it. I just want to eat it. Just it. I don't want to break it. way A or steal the show. Oh, they're in love now, and I wanted you to know. Just chill. <laughs> Just kept on eating again. And it is just about seven o'clock. So I'm actually going to wake this little guy up, give him his first bath, and get his jammies on. Is that so good? Hmm? Okay, so in the freezer, this is just from. Um, my haka, like my letdown, <laughs> that is it. So I, this is from two days worth. So I've got them in about two to three ounce like packets here. Um, yeah, this is from, let's see, yes, all day yesterday and last night and today. And I already have one, two, three, four, five, and then Six and seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's quite a bit. That's almost enough for like seven bottles. That, oh, that is enough for seven bottles, actually. Crazy. So I just want a Ziploc container to put these in to like keep them organized in the freezer. To put them on their side or to put them like this. Um, you want to freeze them laying flat though. 
So, yeah. Anyways, wow. Very impressed. You mad? I know. Bags are not fun sometimes. It's your first bath, little man. All right. Well, we're back at our normal spot. It is 7.30 and we're watching Wreck-It Ralph. Kaya's finishing up her path upstairs and singing. And I have a very upset little mister um, nursing. He's got the fuzziest little head right now from his bath. It's so cute. Starting another nursing session, 7.30. I don't know how many feedings this is today, but quite a few. Um, after Mike came home, which he stopped and got me more parfait stuff because I have a problem with yogurt parfaits. But af after Mike got home, um, he goes downstairs and starts working on some of those furniture orders that we have um, after he spends a little family time and has some dinner with us. Um, and he helped with his first bath as well tonight. But now he's downstairs working on furniture and I get to put the kids to bed. So which is my first night doing it by myself. Oh. Are we gonna have a little treat? Yep. yep. All right, she's gonna have a treat. <gasps> Look at this fuzzy head. Oh. Can you see the fuzzies? Oh my gosh. Just out. <laughs> you are so cute. You wanna watch Rekka Ralph? Yeah, just for a little bit and then we'll go upstairs. Okay guys, well it is officially eight o'clock it is bedtime, letting Kaya have a little treat before she goes to bed. My dad should be here shortly, probably after they are both in bed. But that is going to wrap up my day in the life with a newborn. I made it a long one, so I hope you guys enjoy this longer vlog. Like I said, I do have a postpartum update coming to you guys on Sunday, and that is a long video too. So enjoy the long videos this week. Next week will probably be shorter ones. Well. That's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life with a newborn. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. Right now I'm making a lot of mommy content and baby content because I just had a baby boy nine days ago and that is what's going on in my life. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video on my channel. Leave a comment down below, say hello, and I'll see you guys sometime in the very near future, as in Sunday. Okay, bye guys. Myself. What a wonderful world.